Hey everybody, Jim Sammons here from the Kayak Fishing Show live, as always, brought to you by Ballast Point Brewing Company. Today we're doing the uh, long fin lager. It's gotten nice and warm here in San Diego, and of course this is one of the very nice, light, drinkable, hot day beers. So uh, good Friday to everyone. Uh, hope you got some good plans for fishing uh, this weekend. Um, so uh, a couple of things, uh, before we get going, um, with our, with today's guest, I want to do, uh, once again, mention the, uh, the, the fundraiser. Well, let me get rid of that. The fundraiser for, uh, Trace Richardson's family. Again, he was the, uh, young man who was, um, Killed, hit by a boat um, in Texas, uh, leaves a young wife uh, who, my understanding is, is also pregnant and they have a young child. So uh, those of you that, that saw that we put this up on the page the other day, I appreciate it. Uh, those that were able to, to support it, um, the fundraising is going very well for them. And so if you have the ability you know, it would be great if you can uh, contribute to that because uh, it is a, uh, a tragedy. I mean, a young family like that, you know, that, that's, that's just terrible. So, um, again, we, uh, we hope anybody who's a who can um, help these, uh, these folks do. So, anyway, that, the link to that is up on our page. So, I hope you guys can all uh, help out with that. Uh, hey, Michael, how are you? Uh, you're always here, and I appreciate that. Uh, Diana, good to see you. Um, and Dave Hansen, yes, Ballast Point Beer O'Clock. Uh, uh, we were fishing nearby. You were near there, Diana? That's terrible. I, you know, I still don't have the complete details. I don't know if he was fishing at night or and he was found in the morning or, or what it was. Not that it really matters. You know, uh, I just really want to reiterate like I did the other day that, you know, even though, you know, a boat hit him, um, even though we have the right of way, you know, we always need to take responsibility for ourselves and make sure that we are seen. So do whatever you can uh, to make sure that you're seen when you're on the water. Have those lights on, uh, the busy carbon pole flag, a whistle, all that, because, you know, it, it's just, uh, you know, it, kayak fishermen, things happen. And, you know, we've, we've seen it. And I, unfortunately I've been reading way too much of it, um, lately. And a lot of times it's guys not wearing a PFD and you almost put a little bit of blame on them when they're not wearing a PFD, but to get hit by a boat, you know, that that's not your fault. <laughs> so, you know, again, I just, if you can help them out, help them out. Hey, Ricky, I thought you would like the shirt. I, I really appreciate it. Um, and I had to wear it proudly. Uh, Ricky Zuniga doing uh, Pago Pago sport fishing in American Samoa. Uh, I'm hoping that if I wear the shirt enough times, he'll let me go down there and go fishing. <laughs> hey, Daniel, how are you? Uh, Daniel doing the um, primal, the, um, the motor mounts for the kayaks. Very cool stuff. Uh, Vicky, how are you in Tennessee? Are you near the uh, Pan Am bass fishing deal? Because um, I guess the uh, the American team is doing pretty well. They were in first place as of yesterday. I think Canada was in second place. And I've got friends on, on both of those teams. So I'm wishing them both well. Yeah, Froglid, welcome. J thanks for joining us from the YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, with uh, no further ado, and I'm playing with some switches here. Um, our guest today is Igor, and I, I can't even say his last name. Igor has actually stayed up really late for us today because he is actually in Russia. And Igor is uh, the owner, the starter. He and his father, I believe, uh, started cyber fishing. 
And cyber phishing is a tool that I've been using. And here's one right here on my rod. It's a rod sensor uh, that counts your casts and your locations and your catches and all that and so much more. So uh, to give you a full rundown and for your chance to win, obviously, um, we are giving a couple of these away today. So uh, if you are joining the show now or joining it in a replay, please comment because you need to comment to be eligible. Uh, and we will do the drawing tomorrow. So the people who are watching it later still have a chance to win. But uh, we want to bring Igor. I'm going to fix that so we're a little bigger. Igor, up on here. Uh, thanks for joining us, Igor. How are you, man? Yeah, hi, Jim. How are you? I'm pretty okay. good. Yeah. Okay, so you hello, need to hello, everybody. Yeah, you need to say your last name for me. <laughs> Yeah, my last name is Pchelnikov. You actually Pchelnikov? Yeah. Pchelnikov. How'd I do? Yeah, it's... Close enough? Yeah. <laughs> so, Igor, uh, thanks for joining us, man. I um, I know it's very, very late. It's like uh, after midnight where you are right now, and I know that's well past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, I met you guys at uh, the Fred Hall show in Long Beach and uh, introduced by Patrick Sabil. And if Patrick believes in a product, I believe in a product. So I wanted to take a look at it and uh, taking a look at it. I mean, it's it's just a really, really cool thing. Um, can, can you give people a little bit better understanding of what exactly the cyber phishing smart rod sensor is all about? Yeah, of course. Uh, so some words about our company. Cyber Fishing is uh, a new international company based in uh, United States, Florida. We are a team of fishermen uh, located all over the world. Russia, UK, Europe, uh, USA. And uh, we came up with the idea to create something, uh, some, the tool which can fish, help fishermen to collect data more easier. So we came, came up with this idea to create smart fishing rod sensor. And, and I think one of the, the interesting things is, um, I know you guys had it displayed at the Fred Hall show, is that you guys actually won an award at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show here in the US, correct? Yeah, as I told you, we are a new company, so this is a new product, and uh, we launched it uh, only this January on the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in Las Vegas. And uh, we won Innovation Award for that product. Uh, I mean, if people think about that, um, I mean, this is the Consumer Electronics Show. This isn't a fishing show. This is Consumer Electronics. So you guys are up against products in many, many, many different categories. Uh, yes, because uh, fishing usually is... Uh, uh, so traditional, so there is uh, no, no technology in fishing industry. And uh, now, in 2019, the technology is coming into fishing industry. And uh, so... Yeah, yeah, and I think, I think fishermen in general, um, particularly now, I mean, there is so much more technology, are taking advantage of that. Because, I mean, there's a lot more fishing pressure all around the world, and to give yourself every advantage um it is a huge benefit so uh we'll say hello to a couple more people oh michael guerrero has commented like three times uh uh frog lid says wow thank you for staying up so late <laughs> um uh david hansen that's a pretty cool product um wendy sherman says cool um so uh, why don't you give us uh if you can't give us a kind of a quick overview of, of how the rod sensor actually works what is it doing yeah of course so uh, this is a small device uh, for every fisherman so uh, you can attach it to any kind of the fishing rod uh, you attach it by this uh, uh, hardware rubber bands to any kind of your fishing rod so in the package there are rubber bands of different sizes so you can use it with any blank uh, and it's connected to your phone via Bluetooth. Uh, we have our special cyber phishing application. And uh, you can just go fishing as usual. So, so simple, easy to use. Uh, it helps fishermen to collect and analyze uh, data about their fishing trips. 
Well, it is, um, it counts your casts. Yeah. So how, how is that working? Uh, inside this device, uh, there is a 3G sensor, 3G accelerometer. So when you make a cast, it counts your cast automatically. Okay, so I actually had a question about this um, myself because I have I have had the opportunity to use it a few times, not as many times as I would like, but the times I've used it, I really like it. But the one question I had, I mean, obviously it's counting my casts. Yeah. But what about um, if I'm working a lure? If I've got a lure that I'm kind of working, uh, where is that spectrum set up on the accelerometer on where it's going to get a full cast versus that smaller twitch motion of working? Yeah, lure? understood you. Yeah. So uh, now we're on the beginning of our way of the development. So uh, at this moment, we have only one uh, setting type. So it's uh, basic spinning type. But soon, I think. Uh, uh, this update will be available on iCast show in July. So uh, we will have uh, much more different types of settings. So even uh, by yourself, you can uh, pre-select uh, the different types of uh, sensitivity and, oh, okay. the, and delay between casts. So Okay. So do you think it, it's if I'm working a lure like this, yeah, Do you think it, that's counting as casts? Uh, uh, I think uh, now, yes, but uh, with the next update, uh, you can customize it. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it is it is a new product, like we said. Um, but the interesting thing for me uh, is that, like I said, you, you it counts all those casts, even if it is working a lure. I mean, it, it's counting that area and, and tracks that entire area. It's not showing just the area you went through. It's showing exactly where you made all those casts. So it really shows very well with definition the areas that you made casts to. Yeah. And then uh, when you make a catch, uh, there's a small button on it. And you just hit the button and that goes into catch, in your catch list, correct? Yeah, that's true. We have uh, a button. Uh, you have to press it once uh, if you'd like to save your catch. Uh, and uh, with double tap, you can put any kind of GPS marker to immediately save uh, the spot important for you. It could be anything like uh, strike or stones or landscape or even a fireplace or meeting point. It will mark on the map this point. So then you can go but would you go back or after you've made a catch can you go back into the app and put in more information about that actual catch yeah of course so all information is based uh, in your app so uh, our application helps fishermen to create their own fishing map like uh, like fishing diary so usually people use uh, pen and paper to write everything and now everything is stored on your mobile phone and uh, after you save uh, your catch, you can open it uh, at your mobile phone. You can add some information. You can select your tackles that you used for this moment. Uh, you can type the name of the lure, which was successful these days. Uh, you can add some pictures of your trophy. So uh, in one click, uh, if you want, you can share with friends. For example, I can catch something really huge and immediately send to you. Right. Um, but uh, there's also, I mean, uh, there's other stuff going on in the app as well, correct? I mean, as far as uh, conditions when you made the catch? Yes. So uh, our device also helps fishermen to uh, analyze all information. So when you make a cast uh, or make a catch or even strike, uh, our uh, device and application automatically analyze and save all uh, weather conditions at this moment, like air pressure, wind, uh, clouds, temperature, everything, uh, humidity. Right. And, and for people who are wondering, like I said, I mean, it, it's very small. You can see that on this, uh, this is a section of a, a travel rod, but you can see that it, it's very small. Um, line doesn't interfere with it at all. These rubber bands uh, are not like a rubber band. They're actually more like a silicone, so they're going to hold up to the elements better. Yeah. Um, and it comes with a. It comes with several, correct? Um, for for different sizes. For different lengths. sizes, yeah. 
Right. Uh, and I actually saw in there it came with like a Velcro pad. Yes, there is uh, one Velcro is inside the box. So if you want, uh, you can use it too. For example, to for fast changing uh, with different blanks. Um, you know, of course, what always scares everybody, electronics, um, the water, salt water. What if I drop this in the water? Oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. This device is 100% waterproof. So you can use it in any kind of water, salt water, fresh water, doesn't matter. Very, very cool. Um, let me look here. We've got a, a couple more questions over here um, and comments. Hey, Greg, how you doing from Australia? Again, I always appreciate the fact that we get visitors on this show from all over the world. And for people who are just joining us, we have Igor from Cyber Fishing with us here today talking about the smart rod sensors. Uh, Igor has kindly offered to give two of these away. So we'll give uh, one uh, away. Uh, well, we'll be giving one away to two different people. Uh, but you have, again, 24 hours. We'll be uh, drawing the winners tomorrow. So if you're watching this as a replay, please make sure that you comment so you are um, eligible. Uh, Michael Gallo asks, are the rubber bands UV rated? Oh, I think yes. Uh, for for we, we did lots of tests, so they're stable so you can use yeah them. well yeah well i mean they're like i said it's not like a rubber band i mean it, it's 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 different than them it's not like your typical rubber band you get around your newspaper um it, it's a heavier heavier yeah. material than that uh hey edgar how are you man thanks for joining us as always uh david hansen has a question uh battery or usb charge okay so good question uh, the battery is already installed uh, inside the device, uh, you can charge it from any USB. So there is a magnetic charger. I happen to have my charger right yeah, here on the device, so you don't need to remove it from your rod. To yeah, it, com it, so. it comes with a, a, a short, maybe 16 inch uh, USB cable, and this is magnetic, so it doesn't have to insert. So, and again, that's going to eliminate any of those corrosion issues. Um, and it just like I said, just magnetic. It just goes right on there. Well, let me get in front of the camera here. So you can yeah. see that. So like I said, it's a non-corrosive type thing. You're, there's no uh, chance of uh, corrosion and liquid being up inside of there. So yeah, and you, like you can charge it from any USB, from your laptop or from power bank. And uh, it takes about maybe from 40 to one hour, or 40 minutes to one hour to, to make it full battery and with full battery charge is enough I think for two or even three full days of active fishing so more than enough for weekend I'm sorry how how many days uh, two or three full days of active fishing oh that's great uh, that's really good I wasn't really sure about that so I've been charging it each time <laughs> but uh, but it has it has a battery sensor on it I mean I remember seeing that yeah uh, I know it, it will let you know if you've lost connectivity with your phone because I've had that where I've left the uh, the rods on the boat and I walked away from the boat and all of a sudden I get a notification that it lost connectivity. So it, yeah. it, it's always keeping you informed. Yes, that's true. We have uh, special for that uh, LED display on this device. So uh, you can always see that it's uh, turned on, that uh, fishing is already on. So all your casts, uh, your catches is marked on the screen. Right. Um, Michael Vandervart, hello from Tarpon Fishing <laughs> Curacao. <laughs> uh, I have fished in Curacao. Uh, it was a wonderful, beautiful country. Uh, some of the bluest, bluest water I've ever seen. Absolutely amazing. We were unfortunately very unlucky there. It was super windy every day and fishing was tough, but uh, I would certainly go back because it's such a beautiful country and, and we went to some wonderful restaurants. Um, James Snyder, how is he, easy is it to move from one rod to the next? I regularly fish with up to eight rods, and can you connect multiple sensors to the app so you don't have to swap between rods? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, and uh, uh, we were uh, we visited lots of exhibitions international this year, and uh, this question is uh, uh, the most actual question: Is United States? Uh, at this moment, uh, uh, because of technical situation, uh, 
with our application can work only one device uh, in one time. Right. So, if, so what 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 I do because I'll have the I have one primary rod that I tend to throw the most, and so that's the one I have the rod sensor on, and then I'll have my other rod that I might throw. And then if I do hook up, I'll, the other rod's still on the boat. I'll just reach over and hit the button. So it, it's still tracking where you are, but you can only, but as far as swapping it out, it's quite easy. You just got to make sure you don't fumble that rubber band and, and, you know, drop that over the side of your boat or something. Yeah. It takes about 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. It's very, uh, it's very easy to swap out, but it's also very secure. I mean, it's on there nice and solid. It's not, it's not going to come off if you if you select the right size band but uh it's it's quite easy to to swap out but like i said that's what i do because i generally have i mean i usually have like five rods on the boat but they're all being used for different things um but the one that i'm throwing the most is the one that i put the sensor on um here we had another cost uh frog lid how much will it cost Oh, this device is already on the market, so the retail price is $79.99, uh, including uh, free delivery through US. Um, David Hansen says, available only online, or, or where is it available? Uh, at this moment, only online, yeah. You can buy this device uh, at this moment only on our website, cyberfishing.com. Cyberfishing.com. Yeah, with, <laughs> with, with free delivery, yeah, through US. And uh, uh, you buy just the device, this hardware, and uh, our application and software and uh, storage of your data is for free. Right, and and it comes in this nice, you know, it comes in a nice small box, so it's not a big, not a big item that needs to be shipped or anything. Um, let me uh, get back there. Um, does. Robert Brown, does placement on the rod matter? Oh yeah, that's actually a pretty good question. Where you know, where would you want that on the rod? Uh, at this moment, uh, we ask people to place it uh, on the rod, uh, oh, a bit uh, higher than the handle. Yeah, so just just above the foregrip, and that's yeah. probably the most convenient place to to keep it from interfering with line. Yeah, and, and to, for reaching up and hitting to, the button. Yeah, to, Hit the button, yeah. But uh, as I told you before, uh, with the next update, uh, you will be able to change the sensitivity. So, if you would like, you can reduce the sensitivity and uh, put it higher, for example, if you want. Right. Uh, somebody asked earlier, and I, I'm not going to scroll up and try to find it, but somebody asked if it would work for a fly rod. I think it, I mean, it's going to work for a fly rod, except there's going to be a lot of false casts in there, you know, uh -huh. because of the action of fly fishing. So it's still going to work on the number of times you pump and throw and all that. Uh -huh. And now, it's still going to count your fish. Right now we're working on it too. So because uh, there is a 3G accelerometer inside this device. So uh, it gives us uh, a huge opportunity for development. So now we are we are developing uh, uh, lots of new settings type. For example, special settings type for trolling, for uh, carp fishing, like strike indicator, uh, or for fly fishing too. Yeah, there, there's so much so much potential. Um, Ruben Rivera, have you considered solar charge being that most people? will be fishing in the sun. That'd be a pretty small <laughs> solar charger panel. Yeah, and expensive too. This yeah. Solar charging technology is extremely expensive. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the fact that you can charge it with any USB device, I mean, uh, Nokwa batteries has a plug-in for a USB. Um, you know, you can get the small blocks. If, if you were like doing a multi-day trip and you just brought one of those small uh, recharge batteries. I mean, I, that would work as easy as having to deal with the extra. Yeah, and the, yeah, and uh, for example, you live in sunny California, and uh, I live in Russia. Lots of people, <laughs> lots of people uh, fish early in the morning, and uh, they're always dark. Not so clear and sunny. In uh, you said you were in Moscow. Yeah, now I'm in Moscow. Uh. Michael Callow, did I hear it right that it will pick up GPS, mark your caught, and mark your caught fish? 
Yes, of course. So uh, when you press the button, when you catch something, uh, you press the button once on the device, and it will immediately save uh, the GPS location where exactly you caught your fish, and also save uh, all weather conditions at this moment. So after your fishing day, you will get like a fishing map uh, from your start point point for your finish with track how you walk or how you drive your boat and uh, with all your casts marked on the map automatically and uh, all your trophies and markers will be saved and where to go i will show that in just a second um i'll bring up the uh the app uh and show some people where i had fish like i said i, I I used it in Florida. Um, I used it here in San Diego. The best one map I have is one in San Diego. So I, I will bring up my application so you can see what um, what mine does. Um, might make you cast more when fishing with buddies competition. No more. I must have cast a thousand times a day. Now you will have proof. That's very <laughs> true because we do that. It's like, man, I, I cast a million times a day. Well, now you know exactly how many times you cast. Yeah. And uh, this is a perfect tool uh, for understanding your uh, spots. So try to think uh, not from the positive side. Try to analyze the negative side. So you always remember uh, places when you successfully caught something, but uh, you never analyze places when you made hundreds of casts, but uh, no result. So with our device, you can analyze negative sides of your fishing too. So you spend hour or half an hour in this place and uh, no strikes no result so you can save it or you it, this information is automatically saved on the map so you can analyze it in future right so i was just bringing up the app on my phone but i just don't think it's going to show that well with the camera it's all blown out uh, but just so like i said it, it's a real simple app to use to, to go back and review but you also can go to your account online, which is, I will bring this up now. Um, so this is the uh, the app, that's the, the homepage. Uh, this was my latest fishing. Um, I obviously haven't been fishing enough because I haven't fished in about two weeks uh, in, when I was in Florida. So, and then you have your, your friends fishing list over here. Um, you can go to my fishing history and that's kind of the, the same thing. And let me go to, I know one of these, see which one of these was uh, in San Diego. Oh, this is a website uh, profile of your fishing trips. But uh, now we are trying to develop uh, our mobile application. So uh, if you download our application right now, it will be more beautiful, uh, more, it will take, have more information to analyze to get from your fishing okay. trip. Okay. Well, this was just a. Uh, this is uh, the end of Bahia Point in San Diego, and it was probably the first time I got it. And I had some new lures that I wanted to test out, and that's why there's there's marks all over this. And just I uh, I wasn't actually fishing hard. I was just brought the blue sky out for one of the first times, and so I just made a couple little loops through here really quick and. But you can see how it'll mark your cast. It, it follows your track. I had gone back into shore over here because I was parked over here and then came back into shore over here and I was showing some people the, the device up on the beach. So, uh, but it kind of shows you how it does it, the actual satellite map. And I can zoom that out so you can see right where we are in Mission Bay in San Diego. And you can do that via the satellite map or the regular uh, detailed map like such. Um, I'm gonna go back to my fishing history. Where was that? Let me go before that. So again, this is another one. This was in San Diego Bay. Um, you can hit over here if you can see that where I've toggled on the catches. I made 307 casts for 15 fish and then I marked in two spots. Um, the casts are not showing. Right now, the catches are showing. But if I toggle the casts to come up, there's all those yellow dots of all those casts I made that day. So it, it, it's very, very cool. Like I said, it works with um, Google Maps, um, right? That is yeah. Google Maps, right? Google Maps inside. 
So, like I said, um, and and we kind of there. There's pop you back up there. Um, yeah. The uh, oh, here we go. Greg had a question. Do the trips record by session so you can just view based on particular dates times? Uh, Right, that's what I, I kind of just showed. Maybe I can bring that back up. If I go back up into uh, fishing history, let me hide his question. So my fishing, those are the dates I fished? Yes, of course, you have uh, all dates, uh, times, start of your fishing, time of your, uh, when you finish your fishing, time of all your casts, uh, so all timing, uh, all your movement uh, automatically records uh, by our application, so. Uh, when you come back uh, to your home, uh, you can analyze, you can uh, choose a period of your fishing trips, you can analyze, you can see, for example, is this region, is this summer, how many catches you, you have? <laughs> I was trying to click on the wrong one. <laughs> uh, so here was another track we did in Florida. So, I, you know, it shows where we all paddled through and, and the places we went. Um, there's all our casts in different spots around these docks and everything. So, um, yeah, and it, it it shows you when you go into the timeline. Uh, if you see here, it shows what time that cast was, what time that cast was, what time that cast was. So it keeps a very detailed uh, account of what you have done. Um, Oh, I got a question for you here, and because I have no yeah. idea what it says. Um, uh, let me drop this back down uh, and make us big again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that says. Yeah, I can translate it to you. Uh, how is going fishing in Russia? <laughs> <laughs> how is the fishing in Russia? Yeah. So pretty good. So the most popular and uh, easy to catch fishes are pike and perch so also people like uh, trout fishing right isn't it in russia where you get those big uh was it what's it called catfish like a, big, a big salmonite um in the rivers um in remote areas i can't remember what they're called my mind's gone blank some remind me what the big salmon is or trout or whatever in, in Russia. But I know it's uh, my, my mind's gone blank. So yeah, um, Russia is a huge country. So oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I live in Moscow. So, for example, for me, it's not so easy to find a place to fish. I need to drive for at least uh, 200 miles to find uh, a good spot. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Peter Mayer, it would be a cool thing future feature to have ability for pre-programmed number of clicks to mark different species. Uh, yes, yeah, it's true. It could be, uh, at this time we have only two pre-programmed. So one click is sketch and uh, two double click is a marker. And after in your app, you can uh, choose what time of marker it was. Okay. Um, Robert Brown. Jim, did you mark all the time we spent on the mud bar wide, waiting for the tide to swing? Yeah, and I and I clicked for each beer we drank while we were waiting for the tide to come in. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a long. We sat on we sat on a sandbar or mud bar, as it will, uh, waiting for the tide swing, and then the tide swung, and uh, I still caught nothing. A typical trip for me to Florida. Um, Tom Riley, is the data viewable live on the phone? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, during the fishing, you can always uh, open your phone. Uh, as usual, uh, I think every fisherman uh, these days uh, takes his phone to make some pictures uh, of the trophies. So uh, you can use our application to add some information in your trophies to build uh, full data about your trophies. So you can always see it on your map, or you can turn on your phone and uh, take a look on your track. Um, 
Peter Mayer, can you ex export lat and long coordinates in text version? Uh, it's possible, yeah. At this moment, uh, we have uh, two options of uh, export uh, coordinates. So we can open it in Google Maps. So with uh, one click uh, of special button in our application, you can open it in Google Map or save it. Uh, wherever you want or you can from website uh, you can export uh, this uh, navigation data to gvc file and use it with your navigation system on your board for example with lawrence or oh, really? yeah uh oh all of a sudden we drop it looks like we dropped out for a second we're, we're back on I was looking at the monitor over on the side here so we dropped off for a second, but uh, looks like we're back on. Um, uh, thank you, Peter Taman. Taman, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't remember, <laughs> which is uh, typical of me. Um, Remember to see all this, it's at cyberfishing.com. We've got Igor here from Cyberfishing with us talking about the smart rod sensor. Uh, we are giving two of these away during the show. Uh, well, actually tomorrow. So anybody who's watching this in a replay, not watching it live, make sure you comment that you are watching so you are eligible to win. Also, make sure you've joined the Kayak Fishing Show group page. That way you get notified of uh, when these broadcasts are coming up. Although we broadcast on the Kayak Fishing Show page, um, we can't do it with the scheduling and notifications right now. So uh, trying to work around that, but you know, just realize we try to do these every week. Uh, I'm gonna look at my schedule right now, Cyber Fishing. Uh, next week we will have Jeff Little from Torquedo is going to be joining us. So uh, you wanna tune in for that one as well. Uh, if you got any questions, of course, that's how we're going to uh, make you eligible by uh, asking questions, making comments. So please throw us questions. It also makes for a better show and we all learn a lot more. Um, oops, I meant to go back there and hide that. Um, Maya Coda, I'm late, but I made it. Thank you, Maya, for making it to the show. And Matt, for joining the show. Jim Dolan, how are you, brother? Uh, good to see you. I hope things are going well in uh, wherever you are. You seem to be traveling a lot lately uh, in Texas and wherever you're going. Um, Dave Hansen, 12 beers? Uh I think we did better than that. <laughs> we were on that sandbar for a long time. Um, <laughs> I've got some comments on here. I'm not bringing up. Um, so now you said the, the price on the, on the cyber fishing is $79. Yeah. That's right. um, and that's for the sensor, the charger and all that. The app itself, once you once you bought it and you you sign into the app, that's all included, right? How long will it save this data? Oh, uh, unlimited, so you can store it forever. Well, cyber phishing works. I hope forever. <laughs> as long as cyber phishing is there, you will be able to keep your data. Yeah. And um, now we are working for two more advantages of uh, our device and application. I would like to explain you about it too. So first of all, uh, we would like to create uh, like a social network, like a cyber fishing community for easy sharing uh, of a trophy. So in our cyber fishing application, you can add friends, uh, you can share with friends, uh, you can show them your fishing, your trips, uh, uh, they will be able to comment it, uh, to ask your advice, for example, in something. Uh, and uh, if you want to, you can, for example, if I will visit US for traveling or for fishing, I, will, I can ask you to send uh, me some places, some markers or spots. 
for advice to where right. to fish because I don't know nothing about your region. Uh, so you have a cyber fishing Facebook page. Yeah, we have. And, uh, and uh, Instagram? I think today we started and created our Instagram account too. And you, you mentioned to me earlier about, uh, you know, kind of asking people if they can provide some content. Uh, what, what, what did you have in mind there? Yeah, of course. So, uh, uh, as I told you before, we are a new company, so we are just on the beginning of our way. And uh, today we created Instagram account. Uh, today w was our first post. So you can check the Instagram, just Cyber Fishing Inc. and subscribe. And uh, now, uh, we don't have enough content from fishing, from fishermen to be, so I would like uh, to ask uh, your followers or people who are watching us uh, to help us so I can give away uh, three or even five uh, cyber fishing devices uh, for the, to, when I choose the best pictures uh, from their fishing trips, so uh, uh, some rules about this, uh, so people have okay, to. well, well, let us know here um, once you get it all figured out exactly what you're going to do, um, and we will certainly share that with our followers. But again, that's another chance for you to win one of these cool, cool devices. Um, the uh, like I said, you guys are, are fairly new. Are you going to be at uh, iCast? Yeah, of course, we will be. And uh, anything new that you will be showing there? You, and you got anything that you're not supposed to be talking about that you can tell us about? <laughs> oh, I already told you lots of our new innovations and uh, our plans. So uh, to iCast, uh, we will do uh, one more software update uh, and uh, it will turn on uh, something new, settings, new, new things to develop, uh, some new forecasts to right. analyze. So, I mean, I, I kind of mentioned to the, you, this to you yesterday, uh, so I'm not going to surprise you with any kind of questions here, but um, there are other products out there. Uh, uh, what, what do you think differentiates you guys from the other products? What, what, what does yours do that others don't or, or makes it maybe, uh, maybe a, a little better for us? Yeah, of course. Uh, in the international area, we are pretty unique because we are first one. But uh, in US market, we have uh, one competitor similar to our product. Yeah, but uh, to compare in details, uh, our sensor is more technically perfect because it's more modern. It's uh, lightweight. It's easier to charge. You don't need to remove it from your rod. Uh, we have a special LED display and uh, LED light with different colors to indicate your catches and markers. So, because we have a 3G accelerometer outside, uh, we can collect uh, more data. So, and uh, uh, if you give us more time to develop our software, uh, we will, in a few months, we will create a applications that will be, I think, the best one on the market to analyze it, to, to analyze well, fishing trips for fishermen. Well, I mean, just right off the bat, the fact that, I mean, the others don't, the others may kind of show where you are, but they aren't showing where you've made each cast. Yeah. You know, and that, that to me is just a huge difference. And I think like what you said earlier, not just counting your successes, but counting where you were unsuccessful. Yeah, and that's just true. knowing where you have worked, where it wasn't working, you know, for that time of day. And uh, I, I think that gives you that much more insight um, as to what's uh, what actually you have done or not done. Uh, Matt Baker says secrets. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking for more secrets. Um, Robert Brown has a, a comment on the cyber fishing website. It says it collects surrounding conditions. Does this include atmospheric conditions like pressure, temperature? Yeah, exactly. We talked about it uh, 15 minutes ago. So yeah, when you press uh, the button to save your cage or marker, it immediately saves uh, outside weather conditions like air pressure, wind, the wind direction, clouds, uh, temperature, uh, humidity, everything. Yeah. And uh, 
it uh, this data all saved on your smartphone and uh, after your fishing trips after when you collect uh, some amount of your data of your fishing trips uh, our application will analyze all weather conditions uh, and uh, make a forecast to analyze for example to predict the best time and best conditions uh, for your next fishing trip oh interesting because of your success that's 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 really interesting um again so if, if people want to say it's not a are you, do you have plans on getting in this into uh, retailers or are you guys going to stay direct to consumer oh say it again are you are you planning on getting this into tackle shops and that sort of thing? Or are you uh, gonna, for the moment, just stay uh, direct to uh, consumer? Oh, of course uh, we will be here. But uh, again, we started from sales uh, through our website as a first step. But uh, soon we will add uh, some retailers and uh, also Amazon and uh, different web services too. Right. Um, Matt Baker says, "Now this product will will now this product will you be seeing pro anglers using this, or will they keep their spots marked on their GPS?" Well, of course, you know, this is a tool for the angler. It's up to them whether they want to share their data with friends. It's it's not going out to everybody. It's on your own personal page, correct? Yeah, that's an important question about privacy. So uh, we have different uh, free. Exactly, three types of uh, settings for privacy. So you can press select it uh, if you want uh, to choose something. So first one is uh, all your data, all your fishing trips, uh, your cast catches and markers are open to everybody. So everybody who downloaded our application can see your history and uh, take a look of your trophies. Uh, second options is uh, open all your information to your personal friends. So. Uh, only your friends who you added before can see all your fishing steps and uh, and the third option is uh, stay private everything that's great um and uh yeah matt says that's that's perfect um so as far as, as like adding friends and that sort of thing is that something uh can you do that like does it tie in with facebook or anything where you can bring in your friends from there or do you have to add them in a separate way is it they have oh. to have the app or at this moment it works uh, only inside the cyber phishing application so you can add to your friends uh, on people only who already downloaded the, our application and uh, sign in but of course uh, in future again we will add uh, more social networks uh, elements um peter mayer that sounds incredible the software platform overlays data from multiple fishing trips to identify correlating trends such as higher catch cast ratio and other data um and forecast areas of opportunity yeah, yeah. sounds like that so that's uh, how people usually use our device and Stubbs bitching and fishing. Thanks so much for more <laughs> info. Uh, and what is it? How do you link Facebook to YouTube videos? Uh, I'm I'm not sure where you're going there. Um, what I if you're talking about what I'm doing right now, uh, which is Facebook, and I'm broadcasting on Facebook on our Facebook page as well as Kayak Fishing Tales, our YouTube channel. I use a combination of StreamYard, and that's the software that allows me to put the comments up and do all this other stuff. And then uh, another software that is called Restream, and Restream allows me to broadcast to uh, several different locations at once. So um, right now I am broadcasting to our Facebook page, the YouTube channel, and our Facebook group. So uh, it, these three, these two uh, softwares work together very well. And again, allow me to put the questions up and the banners like, uh, you know, bring on the questions and cyber phishing and all that stuff and allows us to do the split screens and uh, our intros and share my screen and all that. So if you're interested in doing live streaming, uh, those are the tools that 
I am using. Um, Sean Russell, good afternoon. Uh, hey, you know what? You may be a little late, but you're here, and that's all that matters. <laughs> we appreciate everyone being here. Um, so I have to actually cut this off a little bit early today because I've got some stuff I have to deal with with my daughter yeah. buying a car. <laughs> um, so I just want to close it out by uh, thanking you so much, Igor, um, from Cyber Fishing for joining us here today. Um, and again, he has kindly offered to uh, give two of these away, which we will be selecting tomorrow. So again, I just keep reiterating, make sure you make a comment that you've watched this. If you want more information about cyber phishing, of course, cyberfishing.com is the website. Um, and uh, you are on YouTube. And what, what again was the uh, Instagram? Oh uh, yeah, uh, you can find us on in Instagram uh, on Cyber Fishing Inc. Incorporated. So make sure you follow him on there because Igor says he's going to give some more units away through the Instagram account if oh. he can get some good content from uh, from you folks, and uh, preferably by you know using his product, um, which is always even better. Um, let me make sure we uh, see if we had any, finally had any last uh, comments here. Uh, Matt says, definitely a product we're checking out and keeping the fishing community together. Stubbs says, good luck. Uh, David Thank says, you. Igor, cool product. Um, Peter says, thanks for the information. Could make my fishing journal a thing of the past. You know what? I think it'll it will for me because I'm terrible at keeping track. I always forget. So having something that I can keep track while I'm fishing, yeah. I think makes it a, uh, a just a great product. And like I said, I have been using it. The, the the posts I brought up earlier are the times I've used it. I unfortunately I was actually supposed to fish this morning and I got up and my back was hurting me so bad. I just like I, I can't even go out. I was in, so. But I need to go fishing. I'm going to go fishing tomorrow, I think, if uh, if my back holds together. So anyway, no, Igor, no, no. I really, really appreciate you being on here. And uh, anything you, new Tim. comes up, you know, if there's anything new, any updates that you want to share with us, please let us know. We'll get you back on here. Uh, or uh, if your dad wants to join us. And uh, how is it working with your dad? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we are trying our best to develop our device That's every day. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So actually, I had one more question. If I was to order this, um, where is it shipping from? Is it, you said you're based now in Florida. Um, uh, yeah, our warehouse is based in Jacksonville, Florida. And so that's that's where everything's being shipped now? Yeah. Shipped from there? That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so and the delivery through all U.S. is free. Okay. So uh, once we select our winners tomorrow, I will send you their shipping information and, uh, and we will go from there. But anyway, thanks again. I hope you have a great weekend and uh, we will uh, talk with you later. Yeah, of course. Thank you very much, Jim. And uh, I would like to remind uh, that uh, uh, to all of our Instagram followers, uh, we would like to give away some our sensor who would like uh, to help us with uh, fishing uh, trips content with some pictures of their fishes uh, and uh, some beautiful nature with fishes yeah that That's we awesome. can use in our profile awesome awesome thank you so much igor i will i'll be chatting with you soon thank you very much jim thank you everybody who is watching us take care so everybody, thank you so much for again for joining us. And once again, I want to thank everybody who uh, contributed to the fundraiser uh, for the young couple in uh, Texas. Um, so if you if you didn't see about that, there is the link on our page. But uh, we want to do everything we can to help them. So anyway, if you are going out on the water this weekend, pre please remember. Always wear your PFD, make sure you're seen, and keep your paddle right side up. Y'all take care.